Hey guys, what's up? Sweet Thomas. Today we're back here with Death Battle, with the second battle between Goku versus Superman. So, yeah. When Super Saiyan God came out to play with both Blue version, and I think Kaioken, don't remember. And I think this was after the battle, I don't know. So, yeah. Goku and Superman fought once again. <laughs> but, well, this I actually do remember. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you'll see why. Anywho. Shall we get to it? Be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's take a look back. Goku. Superman. Titans of power. Champions of unimaginable might. Endlessly huh. requested to fight each other. Again. Again. He's Wiz and I'm <laughs> Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who, who will win, win a, a death, death battle. battle. Yep. Despite being a finale, we're going again. <laughs> I think they did this for like an anniversary special. Let's see. <laughs> what if they bring you know Lou back again? Let's go. Created by Jerry Siegel Pops. and Joe Schuster, Superman oh, entered the world on the cover of Action Comics number one in 1938. He was the first, and his success paved the way for the superhero genre. The Man of Steel well, and is righteous, DC in general. courageous, selfless, a perfect Boy Scout. Very <laughs> inspirational, but man, does it get boring sometimes. Siegel and Schuster were the sons of Jewish American immigrants and knew firsthand yeah, what it was like living in a world where they felt alien. Thus, this became the basis of Superman's ba, 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 ba. story. You know how it goes. His scientist dad found out his homeworld Krypton was getting a bit too explosive and sent his son off to yeah, Earth to save him. Yeah, basically, I think the poor Earth, Superman's dying Kryptonian well. cells can absorb solar radiation from the yellow sun, giving him awesome Not strength, really much to speed, durability, from the first fight. and the power to shoot heat from his eyes, which can be large enough to vaporize a planet or precise enough to perform lobotomies. Superman was so powerful he could carry entire solar systems on his back or obliterate them with a sneeze. Again, but over 75 years, Superman has changed quite a bit, including going through two separate reboots, which we will be focusing on today. These reboots lessened his insane power, not exactly by altering his abilities, but by changing his outlook. Upon oh. discovering his alien oh, powers, right. the, the mental new blocks. Superman rejected them unintentionally instilling mental barriers on his powers which he would work to unlock through the rest of his life <laughs> sort of like when you drink too much and don't remember the night before so you gotta spend all day figuring out how you got yourself a dozen kangaroos and married a lamp eh. don't ask <laughs> and late. then in 1996 the world changed dragon ball z came to america dragon dragon drop the dragon dragon ball z yeah. 12 years prior, a mangaka, or author of Japanese comics, named Akira Toriyama introduced Dragon Ball, the story Original. of Son Goku and his quest to become the greatest martial artist in the world, nay, the universe. universe. Like Superman, Goku was also sent to Earth from a doomed planet and possessed incredible powers, but that's pretty much where their similarities end. Goku was... Also, I think the Saiyan part was actually added in the second half. At least I think. I haven't seen the original Dragon Ball. I'm not too sure they actually brought up the whole, oh, hey, he's an alien. At least I think. I think they just explained it away with magic or something. Like, you know, King Piccolo. Like, at first we, we thought he was a demon, you know, the Mapofu thing. But in Z, well, it turns out Piccolo and both his father and Kami were actually Namekians from aliens out of space. So yeah, went from magic adventure in Dragon Ball to sci-fi power fest in C. And Super, don't forget that. I think that's actually that the biggest change between the two, you know? Or at least, like I said, I don't think they delve too much in that. Since, you know, it's just like martial arts in the first half and then... Well, 
you know, Saiyan heritage in the other half. You get me? That just seems dumb, but I know, but what are you going to do, right? Anyway, back to it. Primarily inspired by the Monkey King's son Wukong from the Chinese He's novel Journey to the West. <laughs> If you have any interest in Asian culture, I highly recommend reading it. It's inspired far more than just Dragon Ball. Throw a stone at a shelf of anime, and odds are it hits something inspired by Journey to the West. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Toriyama was smart and knew that fighting is awesome, so Dragon Ball took off like a rocket. Sooner than you can say power levels are bullshit, Dragon Ball became a hit anime and then came to America. Mostly literally see. making its own Journey to the West. <laughs> And uh, forever changing the childhoods of many. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z became the gateway anime to many Westerners. However, since prior anime yeah. had very little hey, success Maso. overseas Aye. due to the differences between Japanese and American cultures, the Mostly companies comedy. responsible for importing DBZ understandably Bond feared Ocean. Goku's character might seem a bit Infinimation. selfish and heartless to a Western audience. Mm -hmm. Their solution? Turn Goku into Superman. Yep. This decision resulted in some strange mistranslations, such as labeling Goku's father as a brilliant scientist. Yeah, yeah don't buy it. As well as perhaps Goku's most famous line, which many argue actually conflicts with his true character. I am the hope of the universe. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth. Ally, Ally to, to good. good. Nightmare to you. <laughs> What did they ever change that for like super began. or the nerd debates, in this case the Kai that wars east versus west which hometown hero would triumph in a brutal fight to the end Pretty much. in 2002 wizards magazine delivered an answer they well, there answer. Goku would win stating that Superman would die to a fall from the moon to the earth a decade later, the website Outskirts Battle Dome launched, dedicated to answering versus matches. This time, Superman claimed victory. However, the chaotic debate careened Stop. out of control and eventually became banned forever. The arguments only grew. The internet needed a solid answer. That's where, where we, we came, came in. in. <laughs> Go. Dragon Fist versus Infinite Maps Punch and Oops. Hey, I think Goku got eviscerated. Goodbye. However, since January 2012, Goku and Superman have continued their adventures. Mm -hmm. Superman gained an all-new ability called the Super Flare which jettisons all the solar energy stored in his body, essentially turning him into a solar bomb. However, it leaves him completely drained of his hours. powers for the next 24 hours. As such, he will only use the Super Flare as an ultimate last resort. Yeah. Goku attained a new legendary form called Super Saiyan God. Despite being a temporary boost, Goku's body absorbed the godly power, essentially making it his new base form. Then, after or mixing its power for with the his Saiyan, Super Saiyan ability, he became a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan! Oh, come we on. just call it blue. There had to have been a better name. Ultra Saiyan, Master Saiyan, Super Ultra combo with Fry Saiyan, anything but that mouthful. These Can new we powers just have blue? naturally rekindled the ultimate debate. Is this godly Goku powerful enough to defeat Superman? Or will this just be a repeat of the past? Well... Oh. There's Let's only end one this way to find out. Once and for all. Here we go. It's time I'm for the rematch of the Legends. Center. It's and time I'm for, for a death, death battle! <laughs> well, like I said, not that much changed, so. Well, aside from Super Saiyan Gun and that. Actually, I was about to say the Solar Bomb, but. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna make a difference here. Because remember in the original debate, one has the power to break any limit, the other. No limit. Yeah. It's not really gonna help. Remember, key ain't magic. There's a difference. Sometimes I feel like people just end up thinking, oh, hey, with this new god form, it'll be counting as magic, which... Has he even said that? Nope. I think they call it god key. It's still key, though. I mean, there's no mystical properties from what I remember. Hm. Anyway. Here we go. Rematch time. Huh. Well, good to see the Dragon Balls are still around. Shadow, call you for. Go to Superman.
Build the earth, please. The wish has been granted. <sighs> Thanks, Soups. <laughs> Better be on. Uh oh. Oh, Goku's back. Hey, Superman. Son Goku. I've been expecting you. Hey, you know his full name? Alright. <laughs> Guess he must have read the mind. Or something. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see if God can keep up. Ready? Ready for a rematch? What? <laughs> Whoa! Battlefield this is not well. burden. Be thankful it is not yours. Don't get ahead of yourself, buddy. You're not the only one with that kind of power. Oh, here comes Super Saiyan Blue. Here we go. Blue hair? <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah. <laughs> Like it went down to a slug fest now. Man, no, no blood. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm having a hard time to keep up. Out of my way. Oh, oh, now he's keeping up. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're gaming conventions. Can't you? Can't you? I think it's RTX you now. For your own good. Oof. Out of my way. Uh oh. Ooh. I uh, hope you didn't knock down the building with that. Come on. This stops here. Ooh. Okay. All right. Have you had your fun? I would prefer we don't accidentally destroy the Earth a second time. No kidding. No. I need a Super Bowl for I that. I never back down from a fight. Ah, me! Ah, me! Ah! Ha! Just walking right through that. No, you won't. Stop it! That's a mess. This is over! Uh oh. I'm sorry. Oh! Lobotomized. Yikes! That's one way to stop a Saiyan. Take out the brain. Whew. I didn't know when Goku will find a way back. <laughs> These guys are pretty much hard to kill. Or at least stay down. <laughs> Ow. Another hitch? I'm carrying it down. I believe this is the part where I say, I told you so. True. King Kai, I don't understand. Dude, last time. Didn't you remember? You can't beat him. Sure I can. I'll just train harder than ever. No, <sighs> Goku. Don't you get you it? You can overcome any limit put in front of you. But yeah. his power has no limit. Hmm. Even if you somehow found the power to surpass him, you wouldn't have anything left to aspire to. 
Do you truly want that? Nah, sounds boring. See? Finally. Oops. <laughs> uh, King Kai, do you have anything to eat? No, <sighs> oh, no, I'm trying to be serious here. What? My stomach has limits too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Goku. Never change, buddy. Never change. KO! <laughs> Torches and pitchforks down. Hey, Before you start let raging, it explain. Please hear us please. out on this one, alright? Goku is incredibly powerful, a skilled warrior, and a great character. But Probably one against anyone we put a front different but level. Superman. One hmm. which really doesn't belong in versus matches like these. Ooh. Sure, due to the writing style of Dragon Ball, Super Saiyan God Goku's exact limits are difficult to pinpoint. Hmm. Also, Goku will likely achieve a new form in the future. It's just how Dragon Ball works nowadays. True. However, none of that is really a factor. Goku will always have limits, while Superman's maximum potential is limitless. Yeah. Don't believe us? Well, Watch. strap in, boys and girls. Let's look at how Superman breaks reality. One day, Superman was hanging out near Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation. For the record, that's 25 Lyra. light years from Earth, or 147 trillion miles. Naturally, a yeah. crisis occurred on Earth, so Superman's photographer buddy Jimmy activated his signal watch, calling for Superman's aid. And Superman arrived in a matter of minutes! Being a minutes. comic book, the time Look Superman took getting to Earth is unspecified. However, the comic never mentioned or implied any large time lapse, and he arrived as the battle was ending. Even if we seriously <laughs> lowballed this feat to taking 10 minutes, Superman would be traveling over 800 trillion miles per hour, over a million times the speed of light. But more impressively, Jimmy's signal watch operates by emitting a high-frequency sound only Superman can hear. Which means Superman heard the signal in the vacuum of space 25 light years away. Yeah. That is physically Physically impossible. impossible. Except I mean, there's for no Superman. vacuum. <laughs> you aren't impossible? How about the time he lifted Spectre off the ground? A guy literally made up of eternity. Yeah. Oh, not insane enough there's for more. you? more. Well, Listen. then how about the time Superman lifted a book of infinite pages? That's right. Superman lifted both eternity and infinity. Though he did have some help from Wonder Woman and Shazam. Hey, Wiz. What's half of infinity? Still infinity! Infinity! Regardless, they have yeah. limits in their own strength. So while they were lifting a specific set part for each load, Superman was lifting everything else. Literally. Which literally means everything, everything else. else. Really, Wonder Woman and Shazam didn't even need to be there. Superman's held a black hole, survived an explosion equal to 50 supernovas, flew to the center of a red sun, which is like tanking millions of nukes rapid fire, and yeah, once and easily absorbed him. enough solar energy to vaporize half a galaxy. Oops. And to put an end to the Wizards Magazine argument, here he is getting thrown from orbit into Earth with enough force to devastate the planet and cause nuclear winter. Oops. Oh look, he stood up moments later more pissed off than hurt. Oh, and by the way, None of this was pre-crisis. Mm -mm. Believe us, we know none of this makes any logical sense. And Again, hey, that's the point. Fault. These writers just keep making Superman the most impossibly OP guy ever. That's kind of what he's all about. Mm. Exactly. Superman isn't just a, a sketch on men. paper. He's an ideal. Superman and Goku are more than just characters. <laughs> they inspire. They show us the best of what we can become. This is why people get so passionate about this debate. Mm. Goku's the epitome of a self-made man in spirit and personal goals. He inspires people to work hard to achieve dreams. To many, Goku is proof that there is no struggle that cannot be overcome. And the world of Dragon Ball fits this mold. Every yeah, obstacle breaking. Goku Let faces it. in Dragon Ball has a limit he can overtake. Even those called gods in his mm. universe can be defeated and surpassed. True. And that is where Superman yeah, we haven't this seen matchup. Beerus's limits. His world just doesn't fit the same mold. Superman is an all-powerful being who is only weak to alien radiation and supernatural magic. He is not yeah. meant to be relatable. He is not meant to lose. While Goku's story is one of a man trying to be the best warrior he can be, Superman's is the story of a god trying to live amongst men. Mm -hmm. It's not about if he loses a fight, but whether or not he's doing the right thing. That's why he stands for truth, justice, and freedom. That's why he doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, no mask. That's why he's called the Superman. But hey, we know some of you out there have some questions, so let's knock them out of the right. park right now. But technically, if Goku could find a way to draw energy across multiverses, his spirit bomb could possibly achieve the kind of limitless power to match Superman. 
but, but not remember that key part of the charge, spirit bomb providing superman with one of time to superman kill him thousands all. of times over the spirit bomb Listen. does not hurt anyone pure of heart here let's like start. superman go on you have to bounce it back if you don't have any evil in you you'll be okay see super saiyan god super saiyan was about on par with golden frieza when asked about golden frieza's power level at a panel yeah, frieza's voice actor said that since frieza was a nice guy it's probably 100 quintillion which is a pun because power levels are nothing more than a big joke mm -hmm. superman has been beaten in battle before when he was still learning yeah, saying learning. superman should lose because he lost to doomsday is the equivalent of saying goku should lose because he was one shot by raditz we are looking yeah. at these characters at, at their, their maximum peak. potential not from some random point in their timelines mm -mm. goku may have divine key now but it's still Ooh, key, key not, not magic. magic key may be spiritual in nature but it's still a natural source of living energy even superman possesses in fact dragon ball emphasizes a clear difference between key and magic and if Goku did destroy the sun or the planet, he can't survive in the vacuum of space. Oh. Superman can and could always just fly to another yellow sun, or even a blue one, which boosts his powers even faster. <laughs> Ultimately, yeah, Goku just... versus Superman comes down to a difference of limits and purpose. What happens when you pit a man with the power to break any limits against a being with no limits in the first place? Well, only one has limits to, to give. give at all. But that's exactly what makes him such a memorable character. Think about it. If you had a Goku that was as powerful as Superman, would you even want him? The winner is Superman, Superman again. Fucking Superman. <sighs> and yet, this wasn't enough. I mean, it held him up for a few years. About uh, seven, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> seven years. And now they're doing it again. Sheesh. I mean, people don't learn sometimes, and they're just stubborn the ways to see that day that Goku finally wins against Superman. I'm not sure Toriyama will ever do that, because, well, again, it would break the purpose of Death, or at least his series, you know. I don't know. I mean, it's possible, but I think it depends, really. You know? What do you guys think? You think Older Instinct's gonna make a difference in the next battle? Probably not, because remember, still key, no magic, and, well, it's not going to do much against Superman. Or, I don't know, at least that's how I see it, but we'll see, we'll see. So, we got a few months, or a few days away, we come by now, so be sure to like, scoff, and more, hope you enjoy, I'll see you guys when that battle comes out. Adios.